Hi guys, and welcome back to Changing Landforms. Um, we are working on chapter two, lesson three. Um, and today we're gonna be focusing on reading and talking about a book called What's Stronger. Okay, so um, last lesson we watched in a model basically about how water can affect a landform. And in our model, we used flour and we also used a spray bottle that had water in it. So what did we observe when we added water to our object last time? So when we added water to our flour, we noticed that initially the flour was really light and it was fluffy um, and powdery. And then once we sprayed the water onto it, it created more of a solid. So we did see that at the beginning, it changed from being like more of a powder to at the end, the water changed it to be more of a solid. Um, and the evidence that the model gave us is that water can also affect landforms as well. Maybe not in the exact same way that it affected our flower model, but water still can make a change. So today we're going to investigate the question, how could water change a landform even though landforms are made of hard rock? So today we're going to be reading this book called What is Stronger? It contains information about real landforms to help us investigate how water can change a landform. So remember that it's super important when we're reading to be visualizing. Um, so to visualize means to make a picture in your mind using information from different sources. We can use the pictures we create in our minds as we read to help make sense of how water changes landforms. Let's preview the photos in the book and visualize water changing each landform. So we're gonna do that with one right here. So this is from page six in our book, What's Stronger? So the heading tells me that the landform is a hill and I can use the photo to visualize a hill and imagine how water might change it. So when I'm looking at the picture, I'm noticing that obviously our landform is this hill. Um, I also see that there's water running through it. So I'm thinking about over time as the water continues to run down this hill, maybe the opening where the water is will get wider eventually. I'm also noticing that it was probably like a more solid dirt at one time. And it seems like that dirt is kind of becoming more watery and maybe even flowing down the hill as well. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe over time, more of that grass and straw will also eventually start to flow down the hill as well. Um, and again, so that's how I'm visualizing it, but maybe somebody else who's looking at this picture might see it a different way. So we're gonna be going ahead and reading the book. And while we're reading the book, you guys should pause as frequently as you can to visualize using or use the pictures to visualize how water is actually changing these different landforms. So we're gonna go ahead and stop this video for now. And then you guys can go and listen to the YouTube reading of the What's Stronger book. And then we will come back and discuss what we read.